Moni lyrics. Here you go. Here she come now, say a Moni, Moni. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess I should figure out what I want. And yeah, that's important. I have two separate orders. Thank you. Food. Getting tacos. Oh, I need my cork. Oh, you know, same. Oh my God, we're moving. Oh my God, and I'm the first order. Panic ensues. Kaylin and Sierra energy. <laughs> the man truck's gone! <laughs> that was the highlighting piece of this video! No, it really wasn't. It's me. It's Brittany. Oh, I have your straw too. Should I put my mouth all over it? Please. Absolutely. <laughs> Got that wind blown look, you know? I don't. My hair's <laughs> stiff. Because it's got so much. Um, Shampoo? Yes. Hey guys, what's up? We are going to get Taco Bell and do some chatting. So if you want to feel like you have friends because quarantine. Here we are. I'm your best your friend. friend. I didn't get my food. I only got my taco. Oh, it's right there. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm still mad about that. Why I came out as conservative. Video. Like, you didn't come out. Like, coming out is for people who, you know, actually face discrimination. Granted, you, she was getting a whole lot of discrimination. <laughs> well, no, she's getting a lot of hate for doing something stupid. I mean, being conservative is not necessarily stupid. But, saying, I'm gonna come out as conservative. That's stupid because you're not coming out. You just are. Like the same thing as somebody coming out as liberal. They might support LGBT, but that doesn't mean it's okay to say coming out is whatever. You're coming out if you are in the LGBT community. That's when you get to use the come out words. It's the same energy as somebody coming out as straight. Like That's valid. It's stupid. Like if you a very straight white Christian woman sat down and went, Guys, today I have something very important. I'm actually tearing up. That, <laughs> that happens to me. I'm like, I could be an actress. Oh my god. Because, like, when I fake cry, I tend to tear up. But it's like, Oh my god. Guys, I have something very important to tell you. I've been holding off on this for a long time. I'm straight. Like, no. F I think with, like, with politics and stuff it just gives me way too much anxiety and so I always stray away from it granted yes I know that like it is my duty as a citizen as a human being to keep up with things and I, I want to feel the pain that other people are feeling like I want to you know experience that with them and be able to encourage people when that you happens. want to be human yeah but so like obviously I still educate myself on these things but at the same time, I have to limit myself. That way I'm not giving myself men way too much anxiety that I cannot physically handle myself. Yeah, I feel that. I'm oh, sorry, I got a text message from a random thing. How does that look? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I saw it the whole time you were talking about that serious stuff and I was just like, want to just crank it but like she's in the middle talking about like politics and wanting to feel other people's pain and I'm like I don't want to just be like hold your serious thought there's more important business to do with. so uh Caitlin is not much of a country music person not but I'm true sure I that's not you've true. become more country because mm -mm. of work and me mm -mm. <laughs> no I did your check engine light on hmm. anyway what oh it's Marley I've all I've never had a vendetta against country. I just it's not my preferred 
flavor of music, but when it's on, I'm not like, oh my God, turn it off. I'm not like that, because I don't hate it. <clears throat> my check engine light is on, but it's not for what you think. I'm not that kind of person. It comes on when my car gets anxiety about having low fuel. Yes, I said my car gets anxiety. It scares me sometimes. But it's fine, it has plenty of fuel still. It's just like, hey, we're getting low. Mostly it's at the red nugget. So, because it's a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you wanna call it. And sometimes we get like, I don't know what to talk about. So we just sit in silence for like three minutes and came up with some questions to some conversation starters, I guess. And yeah, so Sierra, the first question for you. Why do you not have TikTok? We almost saw a car accident just happen. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I have been told so many times to get a TikTok. And this is not by just like the younger community. I'm not talking about teenagers. I'm not talking about college kids. Straight adults who are well, you know, in their lives, telling me that I need a TikTok. <laughs> it's just because you're so funny. Okay, yes, but that's that should be part of it. But no, no, just because they think, like, well, there are plenty of funny content on there. There is plenty of funny content on there. Wow, English me. But just because there's so much to do on there to look at just it's like a it's like if vine reimagined a little which is great and i loved vine r.i.p but i don't have it because partially because i just don't want to fall into the fat of it and partially because like i know how i am about facebook videos because if i'm like laying in bed and i start the trail I will be there until 2 a.m. looking at all these videos. So I don't want to do that on the daily. <laughs> That's why I don't have TikTok. <laughs> also, the U.S. is like canceled TikTok now. What is happening with that? Frick. Is that time? You want to get out time. and knock on the window? I don't think his window's down. I want to wait. His window is 100% down. All of the windows in that car, truck, vehicle are down. That's definitely Todd. Just squawk. Dad! <laughs> you know, I can be loud. I can yell. It's I'll not Todd, it anyway. and we just, <laughs> we we just, just yell at this person. Todd! <laughs> Shout out to Todd. Uh, he is a wonderful human being. Uh, Todd, if you're watching this, there's a woman. You're absolutely amazing, and you just got Taco Bell today. And today is He's your munching. <laughs> we see you munching, homie. They blocked Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to wave at him, and they blocked him. <laughs> it's a Sierra! It's a Sierra! I'm dead! Anyway. I have my own truck series, in case you didn't know. You also have your own city in Nevada. I do. I have my own mountain range. So, all of you Sierras out there in the world, I am sorry to you, because we all spell our names differently. But, in Nevada, I felt special, because no one in my home state can spell my name right. But everyone there can. You should tell the story of why I call you Rebra. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this all happened, I have graduated college now at this point. But back when I was a senior in high school, one of my graduation presents from my aunt, she took me and another set of aunt and uncles and my cousins. We all went to Washington, D.C. Well, while we were on the way there, we stopped in Tennessee. We stopped at an Arby's. This guy had to have been having a bad day. Or he just really just honest to God did not know how to spell my name. So at, at this Arby's they were writing down the names on the receipt. He hands me back my receipt. He didn't pay attention to it at first. And I was sitting there eating and then my cousin looks at my receipt. And she just starts crying laughing. And so I finally looked at it. He spelt it S E I actually I will send Caitlin the the picture and I'm gonna we're gonna pop it up real quick so you can see how he spelled my name because I took a picture of it because that was just that funny so she was trying to pronounce it and she was like it's Sarira so <laughs> me explaining to Caitlin this story while I'm crying laughing one night randomly 
I have been consistently called Rira from now on. Well, I, that's her nickname. So that is that is why I didn't, am Rira. And of course, to like Nashville, and in the mall we got smoothies, and they spelled it Sharira. Yes, that also happened that shortly was, after. Literally, that was that story. Yeah, that was like the trigger for me going. All right, Rira. So like in the uh, room reno video my editing notes I kept calling her Rira um that's why it's still Sierra I just call her Rira I get upset because like oh I don't have a nickname all my other friends have nicknames but I'm like but we get to call this Rira <laughs> she doesn't like the nickname that I gave her it has to do with your last name so I'm not gonna say it but <laughs> I mean you could say it because I don't know I'll block it out Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing well with this taco. I know, I'm watching you just have the hardest time eating. So TikTok. So to answer your question, TikTok is a Chinese app, I believe. And they've been accused of like, I don't want to say stalking, but like tapping into phones and listening. What's the Chinese government going to want to do with a 13-year-old's phone, but like whatever. Like, who do you- Isn't who? that what Alexa does now? <laughs> Alex, yeah, I guess. But like, Alexa, as far as I know, isn't going to the Chinese government. Because apparently, the Chinese government just really wants all this American intelligence, even though it's like, they're tapping in people who have like, no confidential information. I don't feel like any super, super important person that has like, so much so many that know so many secrets that has so much um what is the word when things are classified and you have the top secret clearance it's clearance that has so much clearance you have um sauce on your finger i have a lot of things on my fingers right now but Not someone with, know but, <laughs> but someone with like a ton of clearance would like my dad even consider like talking around their phone in general just because like everything's listening you can say what you want but everything is true so so anyways uh government people brain thoughts that they would try to get trade secrets from okay we had to switch phones because sierra's legit overheated mid-sentence so the reason why i asked that is because i also don't have a ticket so I figured we could talk a little- Hold up! You don't have a TikTok? Mm -mm. Why do I- f I've never downloaded TikTok. Why don't- Why am I shook at- Like, I feel like you of all people- You would have been like the first- One of the first people to like have one and like watch it all the time. Okay, so in response to that, I mean the same reason you don't have one is you don't want to be scrolling through TikTok for 15 hours straight. And I already have- enough issues trying to like focus on schoolwork that I don't need that distraction but head TikTok back like or like or, mm, November 2018 that's like towards the beginning of when TikTok first started so like technically I'm I was around for like the OG like I'm already tracer what about way to make a hit or miss I guess they never miss, huh? Before Charlie D'Amelio. So we say this, but both of us have seen like ample TikToks singly, like if they're on Facebook or. I watch TikTok compilations. I'm not ashamed of that. And like, people are like, Oh my God, what are you why are you trying to be so mature or better than us if you don't download TikTok? Like it's like, I'm not trying to be better than you. I'm trying to know my limits. All the people that I tutored last semester, they were like, oh, I didn't do my work because um, I was up watching TikTok for 14 hours. And I'm like, oh my God, like I work 14 hours a day. Like, are you kidding me? Not really, but I'm at my place of employment 14 hours or so. I think I did the math and it was like 48 hours a week I was at my place of employment. Even if you don't work, she is struggling with it. That being said, if you are in college and you don't work like that much, like not judging for you watching TikTok for 14 hours, 
Well, but, I'm gonna judge you for not watching or for watching TikTok for 14 hours. But I'm gonna be like, at the same time, your you life, need, not mine. You, you. Should. Oh, we get to see Todd again. I, Todd, I need you to turn around. Did you have a kid? Mm-hmm. He has two. He munching. Well, he's enjoying his lunch time. I can yell at him. Here, roll your window. Roll your window down. Todd. <laughs> See ya. I don't know that man, but she does. So, and I'm Todd, friendly. So you're wonderful. That is. Yes. Hi, show. Todd. <laughs> I'm Kaylin. I'm the pink-haired. This thing, every time I get it, is a thousand degrees. No matter how long. So, there's a fire truck. They on their lunch break. They coming to get some Yaco Bell. They're parked right in front of us. Jesus Christ. Hi, friends. Thank you. Fire while we were there. <laughs> Taco Bell just burst into flames behind us. Ah. Do you smell the diesel in that thing? Yes. I mean, I don't hate it, but like, ooh, it's very, what's the word, pungent? What? I think I'm just stupid. Hello. Here. Turn it nice all the way up. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know what we were talking about before my phone got warm. It didn't overheat. Hers overheated. My dad's yeah, it's 110 degrees outside. So my car says 89, but feels like yeah. Yee! Sorry. So ye truck. Sierra, it's your man. He doesn't even. Ha it's it's low in the back. Higher in the front. We make fun of her. For that. <laughs> Didn't one of your ex boyfriends have like a yee truck? I don't think I've ever dated a guy with a yee truck. Well, I can change that. Chase! <laughs> We've been here for an hour. <laughs> so I think we're gonna wrap up. Oh. <laughs> he clicks. Thank you guys for watching. Be our friend. Enjoy our videos. That's all we want. We just yes. want to put a smile on your face, you know. Give you something to be happy about in life. Yeah. Entertain. That's all we're here for. And watch our videos, you know. Subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell icon so you know when I post things. Because yeah. I don't know when I post things. <laughs> Leave a comment. Uh, like the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Watch another video. <laughs> we, we've been to Panama City together. We've made a cake together. Uh, and then she did a room thing. And then I am hopefully going to edit this before we post anything else. So hopefully this will be the next video. So, you know, stay tuned. But we tuned. have plans. So you stay tuned. You be excited. Be ready for all the things that we have planned for you guys. But we will see y'all later, friends. Bye. Subscribe.